just fly by. I can't believe that you're three months already. Yes. Okay, so let's start off with some of the stats. Juliet currently weighs 5.8 kgs and she is 61 centimeters in length. So she is growing like a champ. We spend so much time here on our change table because I love dressing her up. It is the joys of finally having a girl and getting to wear dresses and pink and all these crazy headbands. Yeah, you're so cute. You're so cute. At the three month mark, your baby should already start responding to you. So we were having a lot of really cute conversations. Juliet is doing a lot of baby chatter and cooing. Let's see if she'll respond now. Of course, she's smiling and she even did her first giggle at about three and a half months. So just the other day. Hello! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so funny. You're so funny. Yes. <laughs> So guys, you witnessed that. Juliet did some beautiful giggles for us. I have to say, these are the best giggles I've heard from her. So that was a really lucky moment that we were filming at that time. Yes, those are beautiful giggles from mommy. Thank you. Thank you. So at this point, your baby also should be reaching out for toys and responding to some bright colors. And we often put it under a mobile and that keeps it entertained for a few minutes as well. Obviously they have a very short attention span, but they are starting to engage more and they love holding on to things. Let's see if we can get her to respond to this. Hey, here's Mr. Lion. So often she reaches out and tries to grab her little toys now. We also have a little mobile and we notice that she's starting to reach out and try to play with those toys. Before she just used to look. Now she's actually trying to touch them. What's this? What's this? Yeah, it's a lion. Clever girl. Look at you. You're holding your own toy. Juliet still loves her pacifier. So we're continuing with that. Thank you goodness because it's amazing how many times when she gets a little bit like unsettled that the pacifier just helps to settle her i really am a big believer in pacifiers because i have had a child that didn't take a pacifier and breastfeeding mommy here starts to become the pacifier so this is a much better way to to handle things i think in my opinion but obviously it's a personal choice juliet is still exclusively breastfed. Now, I really wanted to encourage some of you moms who may be having some struggles breastfeeding because I have breastfed five of my children and this is obviously baby number six, but one of our children were adopted. Just to clarify if you were doing the maths. Anyhow, so I've breastfed all of my children, but the last two boys, I didn't breastfeed like extremely successfully in that we had to supplement with bottles, which is also fine. But I kind of expected the same with Juliet that I would have to supplement with bottles since I had two with them. And funny enough, I haven't. She has been gaining weight. Okay, she's not a hugely overweight baby, but she's definitely gaining weight and she's within the healthy um, weight spectrum. So I want to encourage you, if you've had troubles breastfeeding other babies in the past, but you would still like to perhaps breastfeed the new baby that's coming along, don't give up hope. Give it a try and see how it works out for you because funny enough, Fifth time around, we are having success. And I am very proud to that Juliet has not yet had one bottle. So we're gonna keep going with that as long as she keeps gaining weight. Juliet is starting to drool so much. In fact, she started drooling a lot about a month ago. I even had to ask my mom in law to please make me some bibs because all her clothing gets wet all the time. Now, I'm not sure if teeth are starting to pop up because there's nothing yet in the gums that I can feel. 
but perhaps they're gonna come soon but she really 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 is drooling a hang of a lot Juliet loves her bumbo seat and so do I she's finally strong enough to put her in this obviously they have to have good neck control and head support um, but I've noticed that she's really 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 strong because during quarantine my mom has been living with us well we've actually got two grannies on site so they have been doing plenty of baby exercises to strengthen her and she really has some good neck strength in fact when she lies down she often struggles to like pull herself up into almost a seated position because she just wants to be up so she loves her bumbo chair because it gives her a little bit of independence now at the moment I'm not putting in her in here for too long because obviously I don't want her to get too tired but I kind of put her in perhaps for a 10 minutes um, once or twice a day and she really really does love it now another great exercise to do with your little one is tummy time it's an absolute must Juliet is actually quite good at it and she's quite strong as well she can lie in this position for a few minutes at a time without being super unhappy most of my boys used to hate this and they used to cry but she doesn't seem to mind too much and you can also motivate them by putting toys down here in front of them which helps to keep them engaged and also motivates them to slowly start moving as you can see Juliet is starting to push a bit and she kind of half rolls over. She hasn't quite mastered rolling over yet. Now another thing Juliet really loves doing is sucking her thumb. It is so funny because when we don't put the pacifier in and she wants something to suck on, she just takes her own thumb and puts it straight into her mouth. Well, her thumb and her index fingers. You love eating your fingers. They taste delicious, right? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> So as you can see, baby's really starting to respond now. So this is really a fun age because you can have some really great conversations, right? You're a cutie. You're a cutie. Yeah, you are. You're a spitty little cutie. Now, Juliet is not the best sleeper at night. I don't know why. I just never have ever successfully had a baby that slept through the night. Not not at a young age so i guess i'm kind of used to it um she does wake up a lot at night she just wants to feed and feed and i think she just gets comfort from that but i have to say during the day she is a very very good girl she has a lovely nap during the day and she's quite calm and contented so i'm able to get a lot of work done and be able to spend time with the other children as well play games with them so you are a very good girl yeah you share my attention yes so moms if you have any tips on how to get Juliet to sleep better at night please go to our Facebook page and leave me a comment I need help it's not uncommon for me to wake up 10 times at night so please help one of the best things about having a little baby at this time is that everybody has gotten so much joy from interacting with their sister. We all take turns to dress her because it's such fun. She spends a lot of time with her older siblings. They just connect, um, have little baby conversations, plenty of cuddles. Like I told you, we have both grannies on site. So there's a lot of hands to help and a lot of extra cuddles that are going around. So it really has been such a blessing having this beautiful little bundle of joy amidst this chaos that's going on in the world but we are hopeful that everything will be wonderful and this will all just be a memory um, guys if you have any comments about what your baby's doing at this three month phase please also leave it on our Facebook page it's really a nice platform to share with other moms what your child is doing so that we can all communicate and relate <laughs> mommy it's so funny I knew I was a funny one <laughs> I knew I was funnier than daddy. I knew it. <laughs> 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 Mommy's funny. <laughs>